Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this one, I'm going to do the charging speed test support test in the Realme GT Neo 2 device by using the 50 watt SuperVoox charger and the Super Dot charger by using this USB digital tester. As you can see friends, right now I do have the digital tester with me. And the main reason why I'm uploading this video on the Realme GT Neo 2 is because of this uh, request which I did get from this uh, video. So previously I did upload on the Realme XN Max. Realme XN Max testing with the 50 watts charger and 65 watts charger. So, but the phone actually supports only 50 watts. So it doesn't matter what charger you use, it only takes only 50, that's it. But it's not like that in the Realme GT Neo 2 because Realme GT Neo 2 can actually go up to 65 watts as well. So that's the reason I thought of testing a 55 watts super, I mean 50 watts super work charger, as you can see super work charger. And I do have the super dot charger as well, 65 watts. As you can clearly see friends, 65 and 5050. So first let's take a look at the 50 watts charger. So this is a super work charger which I am connecting right now to the cable and to this USB digital tester. Right now we are going to see, observe exactly how much high scores we can actually get here. So try to observe in this uh, exact location. So we are getting the readings up to 40 watts only. That's it. It's not going above that. It did go right now 41 it did reach. Did reach. It's about 4 percentage friends. So Every time whenever the battery is pretty low, then the phone will charge pretty fast, right? That's the reason I thought of doing this kind of video below 10 percentage. You can see right now it's reaching up to 41 as well using the SuperVoox charger. But Realme XN Max went up to 46 and 45. So you can see 41 only. That's the maximum the phone did reach using with the 50, 42. That's it. Let's use with the 65 watts charger. Let's see what's happening with 65 watts su super dot charger. So this is a super dot which I'm trying to select. 65 watts. So with a su super dot charger, we should be able to see the indication. I'm not sure why it's not detecting. Yeah, finally it got detected with a super dot. And now we should be seeing the speeds increasing. So now the speeds are actually increasing. So it went up to 48. You can see the difference friends. So using with the 50 watts, it went up to 41 and 42 and using with 65, it went up to 49. As you can clearly see here. So you may think that 65 watts is a charger, why it's charging 49? So it's like every time the charger at the high speed, it cannot re maintain continuously. I mean, a highest watt wattage. So 65 will be only maintained certain time, not always. Only one point of time it will try to kick in, but till then it will try to charge only below 65. So we are getting as an average of 49 at this moment. Using the default charger. Default charger, this is the exact wattage which we got. As you can clearly see, these are the quick differences which I thought of just letting you know. So using with the super walk, it went up to 42 and 41. And using with the 65 watt charger, it went up to 49. Yes, exactly. That's it friends, thank you for watching and th see you in the next video and let's for more updates and meanwhile signing off, until then, bye.